here we go and I'm just going to leave this here just for a few seconds so that later on in the video like while you're making yours if you want to come back and pause the video and reference this right here um, just so that you can see how it's laid out and the number of clothespins that I used you can you know it'll be easy for you to do that so you can pause it come back and check it out Okay, so this here, this little, I don't even know what you want to call it. Like, a, it, I mean, you can use it kind of like as a coaster, a plant holder thingy, whatever you want. But someone had sent me the picture on Facebook. It was something like this. I think theirs was shorter. But anyway, they asked me if I would do a video on it. I said, okay, I'll give it a go. But I used 53 clothespins for this. And the way I made it is you just take your clothespins and just take them apart. Take the little metal piece out ah take it out okay then take some hot glue and run it down like that and then glue the two clothes pins together clothes pins halves I guess you could say pieces particles like that so they look like this okay just keep doing that with all of your clothes pins of course, I'm not going to do all of mine. I'm just I'm just going to do like one or two just to show you kind of what I'm doing. Ah, something stuck to me. And please, you know, y'all you, see this little gray dot on my hand? <laughs> it's a funny story. I was actually working on another craft earlier that involved melting some plastic. And for some reason, it's never happened before, the plastic popped. And it popped all over my hand. And that is actually a piece of melted plastic that has embedded itself. I cannot get it to come off. It's very, very painful. So I'm just going to leave it alone. In case you're saying, what is that thing on her hand? But once you get all of your clothes pins looking like this, you want to start gluing them together. See like this end has like two tapered sides? Well, right there. Start gluing them together just like that. You see how they flare out on this end? Can y'all see that? Can you see it? And then just start gluing them together like this and they'll start flaring out and make like this little the semi-circle sunburst looking thing. So just glue them together like that. And let's see, I think this is 18, 1, 2, 3, 4, no 16 I think. Yeah, this is so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, yeah 16. So I've got 16 here. And then once you do that, you want to start making the other little curly, curvy doohickeys, you know, to come. Ram horns, that's what they look like. Um, to come around the other side like that. Now the picture that I was sent, they stopped like right about here. But I wanted mine to be, you know, more curved. So as you can see, I believe um, one side uses 18 clothes pins, another one has 19. So you know, there, it's not an even count. But my dad had given me this bag of like 300 clothes pins and they were just all mixed up. I think they were like different brands or something. Because <laughs> some are a little bit thinner than others. So that's, you know, that's why there's an odd number. I just did it until, you know, it, um, it looked sort of symmetrical. And um, to start on the other edges, you see this end, this uh, end clothes pin here. It has like a little a little bump there and a little bump there. Just put a dot of glue, and this does have glue already on it because this is the second time that I have filmed this particular DIY. I'll take this clothes pin and we're going to start going this way. So take the tapered end and just glue it to this rounded end right here. See how now the rounded end is pointing inward, and then you're just going to start all the way back around. I'm putting hot glue here and just gluing them together. So if you're going to be um, like using hot things like a teapot or a little kettle, I would suggest that you do not paint it because it, it can, you know, really mess with the paint. And you don't want to melt the paint and have it stick into the bottom of your kettle or whatnot. But if it's going to be used like for cold things or, I mean, a cup of coffee wouldn't bother it that much or plants or, or whatever, you can paint it. I painted this with spray paint. And I let my plant set on it for like a day and it, it didn't bother it. So, but you can stain these with wood stain or I have um, stained clothes pins, popsicle sticks, what have you, by brewing some really, really strong coffee, pouring that in a bowl, and then just taking these apart, throwing them in there, letting them sit for a few hours, take them out and then let them air dry on a towel. You know, if you, um, if you wanted them darker and not so natural looking. But like I said, it's my second time making this video. So I've already got some of these glued together. 
See? And just every now and then kind of press it down from the top. Press it down onto your table or work surface or whatever just so that, you know, it won't be wobbly and warped. But, yep, there you go. Then just bring both sides all the way around. So, I know this video was pretty short, but I hope you enjoyed it. It's just a little fun thing to do with extra clothespins that you have laying around. So if you would, please give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, check me out on other forms of social media. I have the links to all of those in the description box down below, and I hope to see y'all next time. Bye-bye.